individual whose works in the community goes above and beyond what's required. He's a man that lives and walks by faith and not by sight. Many know him as the longtime sports information director for the University of Arkansas and current communications director for Springdale Public Schools. You could almost say he's lived his life conveying a message, whether it's through scripture or in education. I had the uh, wonderful opportunity to work with some great leaders. And when you talk about movers and shakers, the people I've worked with were that. Humble by nature, Rick Schaefer isn't the kind of person to boast. The weekend. Remember about three weeks. In fact, he'll be glad to tell you the who's who of Razorback royalty he's been associated with. Frank Broyles, Eddie Sutton, Nolan Richardson, Lou Holtz, Ken Hatfield, Houston Nutt, Norm DeBryan, Dave Van Horn. I could name them all. Growing up in Oklahoma, Schaefer first fell in love with the Hogs as a youngster in 1965 while traveling the state with his family. I'd always liked the Razorbacks because in 64 was the first year they had the hog on the helmet. I thought that was the coolest thing, hog on the helmet. So we came over in 65 and everywhere you ate, they had the, the placemats all had like cartoon drawings of all the victories from 1964 and all that. So I became a Razorback fan. After graduating and working at Oklahoma State for a few years, Schaefer was offered his dream job with Arkansas in 1976. It was at that time he forged a lasting relationship with the legendary Frank Broyles. To work 24 years for the same guy, that, that's just never happened. And I don't think it'll ever happen in college athletics again. During the quarter century of working for the Razorback icon, Schaefer took away many life lessons, some of which included compassion. He's the most forgiving man I've ever known. He could blow up on you. There were three or four times I thought I was going to be fired, but 15 minutes later he's in your office, Rick, how's it going? And you're thinking, is he still not remembering what we just talked about? Along with his media relations duties, Broyles offered Schaefer additional roles in the department to enhance his brand and pay, something Schaefer continues today. Basketball was not a uh, highly profitable sport at that time, and radio, you had your play-by-play -play guy, and again, whoever was traveling, you were, the, you were the color guy. So that gave me some opportunities immediately in radio. He left the U of A in 2000, pursuing a different passion. He noticed a large amount of children in Springdale schools without a stable household. So at a show of mercy, he stepped in to help. During the course of six or seven years, we had as many as uh, 10 or 12 different teenagers that have lived in our home. So that gives you an understanding not just of loving kids, but seeing them in difficult situations. It's a humble life for Schaefer, to which he's been rewarded by relationships gained rather than money. Now this year marked 42 years that Schaefer has been affiliated with the Razorbacks, serving as an analyst for the football pre- and post-game shows. And when I asked how long he can keep going, he simply responded by saying he's not quitting anytime soon. To find more stories about movers and shakers from around our area, just go to our website, fox24news.tv.